Good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you all remembered to spring forward an hour because um, otherwise you'll miss me. So um, you can watch the replay, of course. But uh, it's a beautiful day here in New Jersey and I am happy to tell you that I've had my second vaccination, so I'm, I'm good. I also am happy to tell you that I was looking at my YouTube channel. I upload these to YouTube in case someone that prefers YouTube or doesn't have Facebook. And I noticed that when I looked at my videos, it said page one of, and showing 30, and that I had 53 videos. The first one had been a trial. It was a six minute, what I can't stamp without. But the others have all been every single Sunday consistently for over a year. And when I realized that I've been doing this for over a year, I, it, it just felt really great. I was so happy. So from now on, so I don't miss something big like my hundredth video, I'm going to start calling it numbering these. So this is going to be episode 54 of my lives. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm, I had no idea. I mean, well, I did. I mean, I know I started in March, but I hadn't really, it hadn't clicked that I had been doing it for a year. So very happy. Um, today we're going to use the Lovely You bundle, which consists of a stamp set called Lovely You, oddly enough, and um, this lovely labels punch. You can do two types of toppings and three widths. I mean, it's really, really versatile. It's, it's, it's brilliant. You'll, you'll see if you haven't already seen it. Um, what else? If you will place an order with me of $25 or more, I will send you the pieces you'd need to make these cards. So, and the other thing is, of course, the live uh, raffle. So last week I had three shares for, of my... Uh, a bouquet of hope. Um, live. Episode 53 that was. <laughs> uh, hi Sharon. And um, so I've got my four-sided die. Oh actually let me turn you down so you can see. That would make more sense wouldn't it? Let's push you to look that way. Well, so I don't accidentally blind you with the light above. Yeah, is that is that good? Just a little more. Okay, so here's my die, and I've got three names listed here. Let's see what we get. Okay, number two. That's Kim again. She is quite lucky. Let me mark that. And I'll be sending her a little uh, card and a little uh, gift. So if you want to be in the raffle, all you have to do is share my video and let me know that you've done it because sometimes People have privacy settings, which means that I can't see who they are. In fact, we had someone like that last week. So I had actually had four shares, but one was anonymous. So um, they didn't get included. Let me change my glasses and then we can get going. Well, first I will show you. Here is the stamp set. It's got all these lovely sentiments, and I just love the typeface. I, it just, it's so beautiful. And then there's all these little images to play with. And it pairs with this punch. So, here's what I'm going to make. I, uh, this paper is just beautiful, beautiful. Fine art floral, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Hey, Judith. And then I 
and here, here I've used the punch as you can see just once then uh, I just grabbed some nice subtle well they were subtles actually most of them um, and well we did that and then I liked these colors together and I thought I would just try using just pear pizzazz and rococo rose and I thought it was great but it needed something else so I added these elegant faceted gems which I think they're my favorite as you can see I hadn't used them before um, I made this card but they they just I don't know if you can really see but they just twinkle and they are beautiful so I, I think I'll have to get more of these because I'm going to be using them on everything because they are you've got these are the clear ones and these are this pinkish color which is not the same pink as I've used but it works and then white which is going to look really really good on on darker cardstock as will these oh it's just so beautiful anyway I'll, I'll stop gushing about those <laughs> we'll get started shall we so here is uh, go on stand up here is the cardstock that I would send you if you place the when you place an order with me and although it will actually come each each card in an envelope because I'm trying to cut down on my plastic and so I'm not using these anymore well I use them for mine because I use the same one but I would put all the pieces you'd need in an envelope so you'd have the envelope and you'd have the pieces you'd need so I think that would make more sense so let's get the first one and I've got some tips for you about this um, this thing because I'll get to it. So let me stamp my um, Trust Me, You're Lovely. Isn't that nice? Who would like to get a card with that on it? I'll stamp that down there. Good morning, Carolyn. And then we use the punch. Now I'm going to use this one for this. And you want to be careful. And I, I've cut it just under an inch so it will slide in nicely. And then when you turn it over, you want to make sure that it's flat against here. But also look at where the edges are and make sure they are right and you haven't somehow messed it up. And then you just do that and then we do the other side. And again, make sure, see that was not quite square. There we are. Of course, it's gone on my ink pad. Okay, fine. Yep, that one's good. Well, uh, I know that you have to be really careful because this is what I did previously. Let me put this under it so you can really see it. So it's kind of lopsided. And so, of course, I put it onto the card and had to snip it off and redo it because that just drove me crazy. So just make sure you're lining it up properly. Right, now I am, this is terracotta tile, which is pulling this color out. Which, oh, such fantastic paper. I saw a video of how it was done, speeded up, and it was just painted freehand. I mean, Stampin' Up! had some very talented artists. Really, really impressive. So there we go. And then we'll put 
this piece on our card base. I know Carolyn would put lots of uh, glitter on there, but uh, I'm, I'm going with this. I haven't really embraced glitter yet, or much, except when it's Christmas. There we go, lots of dimensionals to stop it sagging. Only needs two of them to hold it on, so oh, it's a bit long. Can it be? Yes, it can. So it's obviously not supposed to be in the middle because I don't like them in the middle. It just looks a bit off. So there we go. That's the first one done. So let's get the supplies out for the next one. There we are. The next one, let me remind you, is, is this. Actually, let me get rid of the terracotta tile and the warning label. I don't need any more. Now I've shown it to you. And so what we need is this piece. Put that back over there and this here. And then I'm going to start stamping. So, I'm going to show you one way of inking up a stamp in two colours. So you can you can look and see where you are, and how much you want to have this on the ink pad. It's a little hard to tap, tap, tap because you have to keep making sure you haven't put anything else on it. And then you turn it around and get your pair pizzazz and tap that. And then there you go. Then we're going to have some leaves, I think. I love these pale, subtle colours on very vanilla. I don't know why, but it just seems to really go well that way round. Although you'll see on the third card, I did it on white, but uh, it's fun to change it up, right? So, peering down the side to make sure that I am just inking the bits I want to ink. And we'll put that there. Okay, that's enough of that one. And where's my, here it is. Um, I need to put that here. Then I want Rococo Rose. I'm really focusing on the outgoing in colours at the moment because I'm I really like some of them. I mean I like all of them, but some more than others. And I'm gonna miss this one. Even though, as you can tell from the stiffness of my there we go, it's very really stiff. I obviously haven't used it that much, but now it's going, I'm like, oh no, I need to use it more. So you'll probably see a lot more Rococo Rose from me in the next few weeks. <laughs> yeah, crazy.
crazy, huh? And then where's my just because, which I'm going to do in Highland Heather. Pull it all together. No. Let me just get these out of my way. Well, actually, get the Highland Heather out of the way. Wow, well, that's really faded. Right, get that out of the way. And then bring this back in. And we will put it on the Peppers as mat. to the card. And there we go. And last time I had a little smudge there. So I uh, put these on top of it and I actually rather like how they look. So I'm going to add some more. Uh, and it had to be a big one because <laughs> it was needed to be cover, able to cover the smudge. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. We have our little ways of hiding problems, don't we? Yep. Okay. I think... A nice little space there for it. And I think here this time, if I can get it off the thing. Yep, there we go. And let's have a third one. Because three is a good number. And it looks good. Yeah. So there they are. Yeah, this one looks okay, but I like this one better with the jewels in the well, the border, I guess. Yeah, so I'm happy with that one. This one, let's remind you what it is. That's this one. And I'm going to have, do a different way of inking up two colours on one, the stamp. So, but first I'm going to deal with the uh, the, the sentiment. So, wildly grateful going in. Pear pizzazz. And this time I am going to use the other, the, the less ornate one. So again, I've cut it down so it's just under an inch. So it will slide in nicely. And then, yep, that seems to be right. And then slide this one in there we go that's not straight there we go now it is so that's that one then i'm going to take this piece of rococo rococo rose and it in the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Well, I suppose that could work, but uh, I wanted it to be the same because that's how I am. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see how I get these bits out of the way. And let's check that this works. It's very subtle. Hmm. Was this the same size? Hmm. I think that's a bit too subtle, don't you? Yeah, I think I might have to do that one again. Okay, let's just get... I would say... about there. Then when you take the edges off, yes, that will, I think, work. Um, where did I put that? Here we go. Let's go around again. Let's hope it's uh, actually long enough. <laughs> we could be here all morning. It's not straight. There we go. And the other side. Not saturate at all. There we go. Much better. Okay. So, we've now got that done. And here's what I did next. So, I've got my... Our base and I'll move that out of the way for now and I'm going to put that that is going to go there right so let's I think I want it there so move that out of the way stamp it down then I think here And maybe, oh, I dragged it, didn't I? I? It's not a good day, is it? Rather than trying to fix that, I'm just going to start over. Right, so. can fix the other one by putting a layer over it but I wanted to make this card the same way as I had so that's a bit of that that one's backwards but whatever it's still it's fine um, now what do we want we want this one and for these, I'm going to use my my stamp and write markers in Pear Pizzazz and Rococo Rose. In fact, I don't need that Rococo Rose, so I'll move it out of the way. Because apparently I am all fingers today and uh, not, not on top of everything. So we'll just do that. And then the little flowers, whatever they are, I have no idea. Then you puff on it to ensure that it's all moist. And then you get that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love playing like that. So I think we need more of those. Yep. So 
and then maybe one at the top. So as you can see, you can get quite carried away with this and uh, just, I, mean, I could have cleaned it up and changed the colour of the flowers, but I rather like these two colours together. So I didn't want to introduce some Highland Heather of these flowers because, yeah, I want you to go simple. Well, I always use simple, as you know, but... Um, hmm, where should we put this one? Maybe there. And let's have one of these. Okay. Yep. And then maybe another one actually. Why not? I think just one more, just there. Quite a mess in the middle, but nobody will know. Yeah, I think that's good. And now we can put these together. just need some dimensionals on the back. Lots of dimensionals. Don't want it to sag. them off. And then my new favourite embellishments. Let's add some. Do I want little ones or big ones? Well, let's try some big ones. See what we think. So I think there. And maybe here. And oops. it in here. Yeah, there I think. Oh, just, they're just lovely. They're so pretty. So, let's uh, hear what we've made today. 
and uh, this one all with the lovely you and the lovely labels punch so as you can see you can make very different cards um, with this bundle and a little help from the fine art floral uh, DSP that is but it's it's a lot of fun and you can really do a lot of things with this I encourage you to purchase it if you haven't already got it and this punch is just great uh, you can do all sorts of things with it you know you could obviously what I almost did by accident was have the have the different ends layered and that looks fine too I just wasn't what I was looking for this morning anyway um, thank you so much for joining me if please share my video so that I can put you in my raffle for next week but if you share it please make sure you tell me in case you have your privacy settings such that um, I can't see who shared and also don't forget if you place a $25 order with me then I will send you the pieces to make these set, these cards. So have a nice day and enjoy the extra daylight that we're going to be getting now. Thanks. See you next Sunday.